actually makes the wound bigger. So I like to avoid peroxides so that the wound can heal a little bit faster, a little bit better. Um, and avoid putting wraps rupture of a ligament or a tendon. Um, the most common one we see is ACL tears. Really common injury in football players, really common injury in dogs. Um, so if they have a sudden hind limb lameness, that's typically what it is. Uh, so big things with that is to rest. We don't want the dog putting any weight on the leg. We want them to take it really easy, not put any pressure on it. If it's an open fracture, which means that the bone has broken and penetrated through the skin, then we want to keep it clean, there's dirt on it, just rinse it off with some warm water and cover it while you take the, the dog to a veterinarian. So that's about the only time you're really going to do much for a fracture besides resting. Um, avoid over-the-counter medications as far as anti-inflammatories like don't do very well with those. Um, traditionally, our older vets, we tell people to give their pets aspirin, but in more recent studies, like we see a lot of um, stomach and intestinal ulcers, liver and kidney damage from over-the-counter medications for people. Dogs are very sensitive to those, so we do make dog-specific medications that are similar to Especially you know, with giving something like aspirin, then when you take the dog to a veterinarian, we have to wait at least five to seven days before giving another anti-inflammatory. It's called washout period, so that all of that previous drug can get out of the system before putting any other anti-inflammatories into the body. So we don't get some counter issues with them. Um, and possible fractures. Toxic to dogs, chocolate and caffeine. Um, those, you sit down. Um, those can cause neurologic issues. All of these can cause GI issues, vomiting, diarrhea. Anytime they eat something, that's kind of a given. Um, but chocolate and caffeine can cause neurologic issues, can cause damage to the heart, makes the heart race. They are very sensitive to these, um, especially with the chocolates. The darker the chocolate, the more that we see. So baking chocolate, dark chocolate, a lot more than uh, milk chocolate or baked good chocolate cake, something like that has a minimal amount of chocolate in it. Um, alcohol, a lot of people think it's funny to use their dog's beer or alcohol. Um, I have seen pets with alcohol poisoning. It is not fun. Um, grapes and raisins can cause kidney damage. It's actually the 
outside the skin of the grape. Garlic and onions, those cause damage to the red blood cells. They actually cause the red blood cells to burst, so they cause anemia. Um, anything cooked with garlic and onions will have the chemicals in it as well. Walnuts are toxic and cause kidney damage. Uh, so are macadamia nuts. <laughs> Pork and high fat foods, not exactly toxic, but they do cause Sometimes it's an emergency. Bloody vomit, diarrhea, very 